Hi everyone, Dr. Panucci here. I get questions often about the role of screening mammogram in women who have had breast implants, and I think it's a really important topic to discuss. Uh, first of all, I think it's important to get your information from a credible source, and my information here is coming from the American Cancer Society at their cancer.org website. Uh, they make very clear distinctions about the ages at which an average risk woman for breast cancer should begin having screening mammograms, and I'm putting those up on the screen here. They make no distinction between women with and without implants, and they clearly say women with implants should have screening mammogram just like everyone else. Now, it's important to be prepared for your screening mammogram if you have implants, and they make recommendations about how to do so. Specifically, when you book your visit and also when you arrive, you need to tell people that you have breast implants. You also need to make sure that their sonographers are experienced in doing mammograms for women with breast implants. The reason for that is because there are special views that need to be taken. Uh, they're called the Eklund Displacement Views, and I'm putting up a picture of the original article by Eklund from 1988 in which this technique was described. It allows the sonographer to bring the bulk of the breast forward while leaving the implant on the chest wall and maximize the amount of breast that is visualized. It's been estimated that without these Eklund displacement views, up to 15% of the breast tissue can be obscured. And by using these displacement techniques, the maximum amount of breast tissue can be seen. Now it's interesting that implants, yes, they can obscure breast tissue on a standard screening mammogram, but they may actually have some unintended benefits. There's one paper that I'm putting up here from uh, MedStar Georgetown that was published a few years ago that actually suggested that women with breast implants, when the presenting sign of a breast cancer is a palpable mass, a mass you can feel, women with breast implants uh, came to their attention sooner, possibly because the implant is pushing that mass and pushing the breast tissue forward. And so when compared to a matched control group, women with implants had a palpable mass that was generally smaller than women who did not have breast implants. So interesting. Great things to talk about. I'd encourage you to go to the uh, cancer.org website of the American Cancer Society, and I'll put a link in my bio to one of these articles. Thanks so much.